Claudia, how much did the sparring partners cost you to bring those for you? Way on business. It wasn't cheap. Put it that way. I couldn't even tell you, but it wasn't cheap. But it was an expensive operation, but you know, it, it's like it was an expensive operation, the hate camp. It was expensive. But I couldn't tick all my boxes in that camp. And, and my confidence comes from preparation. I think most people's confidence comes from preparation. And the, the thing where they said, oh, I would live the lie in the amateurs and pro, what I said was, when I was younger, I had the arrogance and the chip on my shoulder that I could pull it off if I weren't 100%. Because I had that swagger. I don't have that now. So the only way I can pull it off is by going to camp and paying the price. If I really want to be a boxer, then I've got to go there like everyone else and take the hits and take the punishment and go through that so that I can really have belief when I'm standing on the starting line. And that's what I mean when I said I lived the lie, the David Hay fight, where I didn't have belief. I thought I did, but it was false confidence. Because when I stood on the starting line, I didn't believe it because the preparation wasn't ideal. Right, so some people are saying you've got to win in style on Saturday. Do you agree with that? I want to win in style. Every time I get in the ring, I want to win in style because it, it, it creates a buzz, the type of buzz which is around me now. But any win, I'd say, you know, I, I just want to win. That's the most important thing: is keeping them belts and moving forward with the career. So any any type of win, I'd accept. But I always would prefer to win in style. Questions? Any questions for the trainers? Kelvin, um, you think we're broadly, you know, sort of still your dark style? Well, I know. Yeah. 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 Um, sure. Continue. <laughs> How is it? Well, you can now take it over the camp, yeah? Or I work with uh, Phil Philomena, the LA coach, who, uh, who's always been working with as well. Uh, for the last six months. You've just seen a smaller bunch of people around all these. Exactly. Um, you, know, so like, you know what they say? I know these are big guys, but small people. So, uh, that's, and the fact that uh, <laughs> uh, I live with all these. You know, I've done that before in, in, on past uh, occasions uh, in LA and uh, in Las Vegas. And so, you know, you're almost living and breathing. You know? So that's, that's the way it goes. Uh, if it's five o'clock in the morning, and it's too dark, one day I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to be crying. Five o'clock in the morning. Let's go. You know, say it. No, no, no. Wait till we, wait till the sun comes up. So, that's the kind of stuff. It's, it's kind of good. I think good stuff. Simple as that. And, and married with the uh, the LA stuff in, in the gym, the Phil's in Phil's gym, and the boxing and the spar and the sparring. And uh, I haven't seen him as well as this for a long, long while. Frank, can I ask a question? Yeah. Um, right. Not just boxers, I know both boxers as well. Great boxers, great, great people out in the sport, great personalities. But it's to the trainers, um, to Tony and to uh, Kelvin. How do you predict the fight to go? Or how would you have to Me first? Uh, um, it's not my job to do that. Um, what you do is, as you say, you tick all the boxes. This, uh, the fight game isn't rocket science. The fight game's about experience, about preparation, about the strengths and weaknesses, as you know very well. Uh, you should call me a crank anyway, or in the amateurs. So, uh, so the coach has, <laughs> the coach has a, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of uh, input, you know, and it can be, it can impact in big ways. But, you know, that's why, that's why they pay them 10% usually, you know, so. Bottom line is, um, I'll, I'm not going to make preparation. The, the, uh, I'm going to go call it. I'm going to say, you know, you watch Charlie Harrison, tune in, Fox Nation. Because it's going to be, a, you know, it's the right kind of, uh, certainly from my point of view, it's the right kind of preparation he's done. The strength elements, working with his strength coaches and stuff, it's been good stuff. Um, so it's up to Ollie to, uh, to do David and David to do the same thing. And what I will say is, for any of the connoisseurs out there, you know, people who know the game, then this is the right fight for the country. You know, it's really, you know, the, all he believes, and I believe it, that uh, David, David Price is the, uh, the guy in waiting, you know, because uh, I, I, you know my, my history with David, I helped him when he was 17, uh, Young England, and then helped him a little bit before he, he did uh, the Olympics, and I genuinely wanted him to come back to, when I was GB coach, to come back and do the, uh, the Olympics again. I believe this fellow would have been a gold medalist, you're, you're looking at two potential gold medalists here, so it's really all on the line for both the guys. I will make a prediction, David Price is going to win, and 
always got a winning style. He's, he's prepared for that, as he always does. He's, Audley talks about being a, a world, going back to being a world class athlete from, from the Olympics. David Price has been a world class athlete for the past three years. So he's left no stone unturned in his preparation. And I believe he'll do a, a sensational job on Saturday night. I mean, you've heard it, we're doing one to ones now. To me, it, you know, this is what boxing's about. It's really got everyone talking. Not just here in Liverpool, all over the country, everyone is talking about this fight. Baldy's done a great job in getting ready for this fight and selling the fight. David's done the same. And, you know, this is what we need to keep boxing on the back pages and everyone talking about it. It's, it's a fight where one guy's career could end, one guy's career can go forward, or one guy's career can um, hit a roadblock. You know, that's what makes this exciting. Two big guys over 17 stone, anything can happen. On October the 13th. We'll do one to ones now, champs. Gonna tear it up, but don't you know? I said, oh, don't you know? Gonna be smashing it in, don't you know? I said, oh, don't you know?